We've got plenty of celebrities and up-and-coming stars here on the Sun Coast, but the latest local TV celebrity comes from Moat Marine Aquarium. Mythbusters The Search is a science channel series that features 10 contestants competing to become the next set of Mythbuster hosts. Well, here to tell us all about her TV debut is Dr. Tracy Fanara. Tracy, we're so glad to have you here. Let's take a look at the show and see what we're going to be talking about. Here's a clip. Finding a needle in a haystack. A Mythbusters classic. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do it. It's going to be like finding a needle in a haystack. Look at you! Oh, wow. I love oh, it! That looks like fun! Oh my goodness, Tracy, how did you get this opportunity? Uh, they found a video that I did, an environmental video. It was on stormwater quality at the University of Florida. Oh, wow. So and they that came to you? you? Well, I think that somebody submitted it for me. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, but no one's admitted. Right. Been so did you audition for it, off, or did they just pull you in straight away? Uh, they, after they saw the video, they called me the next day and had a Skype interview, and then Three weeks later, I was gone. Brilliant. You know, it's not oh. usually that easy to get on national TV. I, I know. <laughs> I was trying to do this. I know. I got very lucky. Of course, your work with Moat Marine helped. Uh, right. <laughs> right. You're a scientist. She is a doctor. You know. <laughs> DR period in front of my name, I think. So what do you do at Moat that really helped prepare you for this? So at Moat, I'm actually an environmental engineer, but at Moat I run the uh, environmental health program. Mm -hmm. So I look at how anthropogenic and natural chemicals affect the environment and long term how they affect our health. Mm -hmm. So science is really myth busting, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, you know? yeah. that's true. That's I, exactly I that. what yeah. I'm doing. So instead of a myth, it's it's a hypothesis. So on a regular basis, we're always testing myths. Mm -hmm. um, so currently red tide is, is a big issue so we do plenty of tests with red tide to better communicate to the public the effects and in, in the harm with going to the beach during a red yeah. tide mm -hmm. bloom. And, and you have to make it interesting. Yeah. Right. right. And today the myth is can you keep your hair straight in Florida in the winter? <laughs> that is. During the fog. <laughs> myth busted. <laughs> so what other challenges did you face on the show? Oh, so many. So the first episode, we actually eject a passenger seat from a moving car, and I have to drive that car. Oh. Yeah, and I'm not a good driver <laughs> as it is. So, so I, I, I really wanted to step up to the plate and do it, and it was pretty, it was pretty intense. But Any secrets well, you know, that they don't want the audience to see that are going on? Well, this... Like, were you really driving that car? Yeah, oh, I was really driving <laughs> that car. I really was. They were really worried about our safety because there was okay. a lot of pressurized gas Action. in there. And you'll, you'll see what oh, happens. Here we go. Oh, wow. What are you doing here? Uh, using a chop saw, cutting metal. Have you done that before? <laughs> Funny that you say that. A lot of the things I did in the show were my first time, and nobody else is for everybody was an expert. Oh, wow. Everybody was an expert except for me. Yeah. You yeah. Yeah. So. But, but you're a real true scientist. Yeah. Yeah. So right. How do you feel exactly. about right. after the experience? Are you nervous? Like, what do you think about it? I'm really scared to see how it turns out. Like, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to look like on TV. I've never seen myself on TV, so it's... <laughs> we have now. <laughs> right, right, yeah. right. When does it start? Uh, January 7th at 9 p.m. Oh, on the Science Channel. On the Science Channel. And we can see more about what Moat's doing at moat.org and all the exciting things that are happening during the holidays. And we are really looking forward to seeing our big star up there. Next, we're going to have a fashion show. You can tell because Bobeth is dressed for it. <laughs>